all right the shower is almost ready I'm ready to install the shower door retractable door okay this is the door it's called Nat Nautilus um, retractable shower door um, it takes two weeks once you order it and there's no refund because this is custom cut to fit uh, you, the size that you order and it's very easy to install this one's about uh, 60 I believe it's 66 inches tall so it's uh, it's tall enough um, very easy to install very easy to clean uh, you just need Phillips screwdriver and um, a jigsaw or a saw that uh, can cut metal um, because you have to cut it's about uh, two about this size it's the top top and the bottom rails you're gonna cut it to fit your, the opening of your the shower okay let's see well there are two pieces that you are going to cut to fit Here's the shower that the main unit. And this is the opposite side where it retra retracts to here, connects to here on the other side and it has a double back tape where you're gonna tape it to the other wall and there is a um, one screw on the top and one screw on the bottom. So this is where the rail is going to be. The top looks the same. And this here will run inside the rail here. So when you pull the door, it's going to guide the door all the way to lock with the, the other side. Of the wall and it all this side also has the double back tape so try to mark your wall where you're gonna before you peel off and tape because once you stick the tape to that wall this is not removable it's permanent and so what you want to do is al try to align and try to pull it to to see Make sure it's a little bit inside of the shower. Make sure that the, the door here so the water can drip inside of your shower pan. You don't want it to drip on the uh, doorstep here. Okay. Once you locate that, you go ahead, use uh, something to mark where you want to, um, to tape the unit left side and the, the right wall here mounted now I need to measure the distance between here to here whatever that length is deduct it by a quarter of an inch and then go cut my rail there top rails done bottom is done now test it out Slide this, lock that one, there's the shower door. Now what you want to do is use the uh, silicone cock on the inside here, just like that. Okay, shower is officially done. Oh yeah, shower, outdoor. Heater. I'm about to 
this way. Okay, moving on. I am now building the uh, kitchen part. Um, I don't have a lot of room to work with. So it's about 20, about 27 inches in length and 22 inches width to fit both uh, a small sink and the induction cooktop with the fridge underneath it. So I'm also trying to make sure that there's enough room for passengers to get in and out that way. So everything's kind of compact in this, um, in here, trying to fit everything in. So hopefully it works. Good morning. The van build continues. Springtime is coming up right now, and we're just in time. We're just a couple of uh, weeks away from finishing up the van. I'm so excited. So, springtime means fishing season, means beautiful scenery. We're gonna, as soon as we're done, we're gonna take a road trip, as a, like a road test. Uh, with uh, with some uh, this van and some other um, sprinter vans, camper vans, uh, we're gonna take them on a road trip. And for right now, beautiful, nice weather. And here today, I'm going to um, try to finish up the countertop. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna have a door here because uh, it's a little door because the sink is up here and we are going to have the uh, six gallons uh, gray water tank underneath. So this door will be uh, for that accessible to um, the gray tank. So we can just um, easy them out and plus the, you can see the refrigerator is down here. Um, out here, I'm gonna have the um, uh, 110 uh, GFCI receptacle out here with the marine wire here, uh, 3.0 uh, USB plug and um, just the battery status display here. Um, this is the main uh, power switch. I put it out here. Uh, because it's easy access, um, if you are going to leave the van for the day, this is the main power to shut off. Okay, turn it to off, everything shuts off. And when you come back up, um, back, turn it back on, all the powers back on. Again, all these powers have nothing to do with the um, starting battery. These are from the solar panel that go um, it, the power reserves in our uh, battery banks. Okay. Now that I got all my wires tucked away under the sink, let's turn on the power and see if it, all the connections work. For the refrigerator, it's a 12 volt. I'm gonna, um, I have a cigarette um, plug right here, 12 volt plug, straight to the the battery. Okay, main power switch. Oh, which way is on? This way is on. Oh, there you go. USB lights up, that means okay connected and here's the battery status 100% at 13.7 volt. That's that's a fully charged. Cool. <laughs> Teamwork everybody. This is the whole overhead shelf uh, over the driver's head. And this is how it looks like. You see on the bottom. And it's gonna go over the driver head like this.
Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> this is how it's gonna go. So extra storage right here. You can put your sleeping bags and uh, blankets up here. Just give it extra space. Uh, you can get this bracket from Amazon. This is like a seven inch uh, one side by four inch on one side and it fits uh, with the original screw that they had over here it was there was a hook right here you take off the hook and use the existing screw hole with the screw fit perfect and on the back side it's a two inch bracket right here also fits with the uh, original fitting right here take off that screw fit it right back in there okay now you create an extra shelf storage progress so far the hot water heater is up got one side of the wall here ready sink and stove shelf storage over the driver's side ready Um, hey everybody, here's an update for today. This is what I did. I added this table. It's a swivel table. It's called Legon table. Um, it swivels around any angle you want to. And so, and you also can fold it away or go all the way close to the sink. It's, the, the height is adjustable. You can also utilize the, the space you can do whatever you think and you can use this as a table and also if you're ready to go to bed you can remove this apart and fill it right here to make what the, the bed okay also what I did today uh, we added a little uh, safety light it, okay so on this side we added a little um, safety light so this is a sensor light uh, in case uh, when you leave the van or there's no motion over here it turns off it by itself or when you leave the van and when you come back as soon as you open the door the light goes on it gives you uh, you know it light up the area so you can see your door your step or whatever you need to do around here you can see it's it's uh, really bright so I like it it's good. It's a good feature here. So, I'm connecting the uh, under the sink um, gray water tank. This is a six gallon um, jug from Walmart. Okay. And I'm trying to to connect the uh, sink into here. What I did was I just went to Home Depot. In the garden water hose section, I picked up this. It's a quick connect. It comes uh, two piece. Not this white part. It's um, this is from the jug uh, lid. I make a hole, one one piece of the quick connect into here screw into here and then it came from here what I did like that and into the jug it in this is a quick connect okay the the pipe from the sink which is 
here is connected to this here. Okay, and it will stay there. So this part will go in here and then there, snapped in. Okay, so whenever you want to remove and empty the gallon, all you have to do is click connect, disconnect, and then empty it out. So on this side of the bed, there's my uh, water tank, water pump, everything's all hooked up. Okay, this is my water inlet into the tank and then come out from the bottom, goes into the water pump and to the accumulator. Okay, and I custom made this one, this is uh, going to be another small um, hose, it's for the air for the um, water tank to breathe. So this is how I'm going to leave the uh, tank uh, in case in the future you um, want to take it out and clean once in a while or yearly maintenance it and it's very easy to take out from the top. And then on this corner it's going to be the switch for the water pump. Okay, every time you want to use the water pump, turn it on and off. We always leave it off so it's not too much pressure in the pump. And this is where the the heater control going to be. Haven't installed the heater yet, but this is the controller for it.